Skip counting lets you count by multiples of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or even more. It's a great way to learn to multiply numbers together. Let's give it a try. Let's do skip counting by sevens. It means you only count every seventh number. Watch me do it. You'll hear me bounce seven times, but I only count every seventh number I land on. Seven. Fourteen. Let's do it again. This time, I'll count the bounces, and you count the number I land on after the seventh bounce. Remember to keep silent after the first six bounces, because we're skipping those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do skip counting yourself with a pen and a piece of paper. You can draw arrows to represent the bounces and circle every seventh number. Let's use skip counting by sevens to count the number of balloons that cross the dotted line. Remember only to call out the number of every seventh balloon that crosses the line. Seven. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. Forty-two, forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy. Let's do it one more time without numbers on the balloons. Count them off in groups of seven as they cross the dotted line. Seven, fourteen. Twenty-one, twenty-eight, thirty-five, forty-two, forty-nine, fifty-six, sixty-three, seventy.
If you can do skip counting, it makes learning the times tables easier. Skip counting by sevens and a seven times table both involve counting in multiples of seven. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Seven times three is twenty-one. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Seven times five is thirty-five. Seven times six is forty-two. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Seven times nine is sixty-three. Seven times ten is seventy. Seven times eleven is seventy-seven. Seven times twelve is eighty-four.